Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is part 3 of the solution on solid state physics paper CC14 um, on 2022. Today, I want to discuss question number 4 and 5. You can see this is the total question paper that is question number 1, 2, and 3 are discussed in last two uh, part. And today, I want to find out the solution of question number 4 and 5. And an upcoming session will be covered question number 6 and 7 also. Let's start. First question says obtain the dispersion relation for one dimensional monoatomic lattice. This is the monoatomic lattice change. This is equilibrium state and this is displaced place. So the force equation of the nth atom, if you consider this nth atom, so the separation uh, between n plus 1 and n and separation between n minus 1 and n, the difference will be gives you the resultant displacement. So, using Newton's second law, the mass into acceleration equal to force, and taking the trial solution of this nth uh, displacement and put this value, you will be obtain this relation, and finally you will be get the value of omega, that is the angular frequency related with the wave number with this relation. This relation actually known as the dispersion relation, which says the relation between omega and k. This is the dispersion relation. Okay. So this actually we discussed in the theory class on solid state physics. You can go through the description blo uh, description box for the total playlist of theory class on solid state physics. Next question in the conic plane model, the following equation obtained after simplification. What is the physical significance of P? What is the physical significance of P? P actually the m v not b a by h plus. This v not b is the potential barrier area of potential barrier. So, this physical means the binding of the given electron more strongly to the particular potential. So, this value signify the binding of the electron. Okay. Next question by plotting the above uh, equation is a function of 2a. Discuss the allowed point forward and reduce. If you plot this function with the 2a, you know the graph will be like that. Where p is a constant taking the 3 pi by 2. Here, this region that is the uh, below this one because the this cos k a this is the plus one to minus one so this region actually allowed this red colored shaded region as allowed and the rest part of the forbidden region okay next question derive the wide man branch law and what is the most significant conclusion we arrive from this law this law actually says that the uh, electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity ratio is depends on the temperature. This can be proved that this uh, electrical conductivity n square tau by m and thermal conductivity half m v square k b tau. So their ratio gives you this formula. According to the classical theory, the average kinetic energy of the electron is the half m square that is equal to 3 by 2 kVt. So, this finally obtain this k by sigma is Lp, L is the constant known as the knowledge number which is 1.11 into the minus 8 and T is the temperature. Okay. And this law actually says that the high luster and the completely opaque of the metal that is the uh, opacity is due to the absorption of all incident electromagnetic radiation by the free electron which are the set into force oscillation that's mean the electron which are present in the metal absorb these all incident electromagnetic radiation that's why this is opaque that is uh, no transmission no reflection and the electron uh, return to their natural state because they uh, absorb all the electromagnetic energy radiation so it needs to uh, come back to its natural state by emitting the some amount of energy in the all direction thus producing metallic structure so this uh, nature will be obtained the metallic phenomenon. so high luster and complete opacity of the metal due to this R can be explained okay next question say establish the relationship among the electrical uh, displacement field strength and polarization vector uh, field is nothing but force per unit charge 
Polarization is the dipole moment per unit volume. So dipole moment is the charge into distance and volume area into distance. Distance and can allow the charge per area, which is sigma. That is the surface charge density of 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 the applied field. And the surface charges are polarized in the dielectric material because this is plus plate and this is minus plate. So they are induced a minus here and there is induced plus here. So the electric field due to sigma and sigma prime are the E0 and E prime equal to uh, the opposite direction. The magnitude of the resultant field within the uh, direct dielectric will be like that E equals to E0. E0 is the external and E prime is the opposite field generated within this material. So E0 is sigma by epsilon naught, E prime is sigma prime by epsilon naught. So this sigma pr uh, prime is P by P that is dipole moment. So sigma prime is uh, polarization P. So this combination that is sigma is nothing but the displacement vector due to this external total field. So this is the relation between D, E and P. Next is the electronic polarization and electronic polarizability. When we, if we apply this electric field within a material, the electron crowd is shifted uh, opposite to the electric field due to the repulsion. So they are separated uh, because uh, without electric field, the center of the positive and the electron crowd center at the same position, there is no dipole moment. But when we apply the external electric field, there is a separation that produces the uh, dipole moment. So this types of dipole moment actually electronic polarization. Dipole moment per unit volume is the electronic polarization. And another is the electronic polarizability. This is the uh, electronic polarization produced due to unit external electric field. Due to unit external electric field, the electronic polarizability actually happen. It's known as the electronic polarization. Next is the, uh, this is the question C, where the dielectric constant given and the conventional cubic uh, lattice constant given, you need to find out the electronic polarizability. Actually, electronic polarizability can be found out from this formula, but here we cannot find the value of N. Here, the dielectric constant epsilon are given here. Uh, so, and this number of this question is 5, so I don't solve at this moment of this question. If I can do this, I will be provided in the um, playlist uh, uh, or the comment box or the okay uh, or anyone can do uh, solve this question. You must comment in the comment box. So that's it for today. This is all about me. This is my contact details. This is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. We give different free related videos. Some authority like this session. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon to get notification. So take care. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.